Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I'm Crash Rouser, and once again, time to Crash Scouts with the debut episode of the Skyliner Spiral's Adventure Solo Run featuring Gil Grunts. Now, I did want to do this intro first where I just talk to you face to face to explain why I'm doing solo runs. I did kind of mention it in the video where I said, you know, I disappeared for, for a month and here I am. This is what's happening. But I decided I'm going to actually sit down and talk to you guys about why I'm doing this for the opening. Um, I'm not actually going to do like the loading of the game and stuff. I'm just literally going to have it. We're going to have the opening cutscene and go from there. Um, so the main reason I'm doing this is because if you haven't noticed for the last few locks I played, I've lost them. And you might have noticed I haven't been taking them as seriously as I normally do. And the main reason of that is because, well, i kind of fallen out of love with just playing the game. So a way for me to get back into it and start playing the game and enjoying the game more and then getting back into the locks is to play through all the games again, just for my casual self. And I could easily sit down and do a playthrough where I switch at the Skylines and just do a casual playthrough, like one Skyliner at a time. But I decided to make it a little bit fun and a little bit challenging and use Skylanders that I enjoy for a solo run, which I'm only allowed to use one Skylander the whole time. And for this time, I decided to use Gil Grunt. I'm a huge fan of Gil Grunt. You've known that probably since the beginning. If you're not, welcome to the channel. I love Gil Grunt. He's right there. Um, his moveset is great. I really enjoy playing him, and I feel like he's challenging enough to actually give me a good run while I'm trying to play through the game. Gilgrunt is leveled up to level 10. He has all of his abilities, and I'm going to be playing on the regular difficulty that Spyro's Adventure does. I'm always going to be playing on medium difficulty. That's the difference. So I'm not going to do hard because I don't want the game to be more challenging than it needs to be. I don't want to get turned off from playing the game and never want to play it again. Like, I'm dreading going back and playing Trap Team, but I'm going to play it on medium with a very special character in the future, so... This episode's ho or this series is hopefully going to have 21 episodes because that's how many the original Dragon Lock had. So we'll hopefully that'll be what we're looking for. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to waste no more time and hop into the run. I will discuss the rules of the run while we are playing the game, and we'll go from there. But there's only like two rules, so let's hop into the game and get this started. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy episode one of the Gilgrunt Solo Run on Spyro's Adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Welcome to the Gil Grunt Solo Run. I'm going to tell you that I totally recorded my the episode of this before, and hilariously, well, I forgot to record the gameplay. So I was sitting here just talking to you guys snack. with commentary, and there was nothing on the screen because I wasn't recording it. Professional. Wrong. So yeah, so I'm just going to go over the basically the same, the same exact things I did. So it's going to be like the uh, Giants episode that I had for the uh, Giant Lock when I had sure to re-record the whole thing. <laughs> Go we'll go over the rules the of this, down. the I'll rules of this uh, solo run. It's not a lock, right, just remember that. That's Come the hint you're going to get towards it. But we are going to let these guys chat. We're not going to skip anything except for one part. We're going to skip one part a little bit later on when I was recording my just face with it. We, um, we're going to skip one part and that's it. Everything else we're going to let them talk and chat and all that stuff. But I'm excited to bring you an episode Mr. of the Eonson, Solar Run, debut mean, episode of the Solar right Run. Here, first ever Solar Run. No, nope. second. Then I did a bash Solar Run on Trap Team. I'm in the of a As a live stream once, but I deleted ones. it, so this is probably the first Clearly, one. I am losing my mind. Of course you're losing your mind, Hugo. Now you are hanging out with me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Solar Rock. Solar Rock. Solar Rock is in the house. Gilgrunt is the character we're going to be using the whole time. I am a big fan of Gilgrunt, and we're going to show you his stats here now. Again, he is level up to level 10. He has all of his abilities. We'll show you the abilities when we come up and show you the uh, thing. Oh, right. He actually says the Skylander name. I forgot about that. I, of course, never doubted it for a second. <laughs> I know that you are watching. I forgot he says the actual one of the starter pack I Skylander names, but I, I, all the other ones think it just goes, Whoa, a Skylander! I'm not sure if you put like Drobot, he'll go, Whoa, Drobot! You're actually used it. So, we're going to show you his stats here now. As you can see, Grill Grunt has some low armor, and I read it said, Makes you harder for enemies to hit. I feel like that's written incorrectly. I'm not an English major, I do like my English, but as you can see, this is his stats, this is what we're going in with, and here is his powers, as you can see, I did the top row, because I like the quadrant, har the harpoons, the piercing harpoons, and the triple shot harpoon, and we already own him, I already set him up to make him 
on my team. As you can see, he is level 10. We are good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin the solo run. Now, here's how the solo run began. Again, this is not a lock, meaning if Gilgrunt dies, he is not dead for good because I'm doing a rule called the mulligan. The mulligan is where if I lose an A level, I have one more chance to go back and fight to do that level again. So if I get defeated in this level, I have a chance to go back, and what I'll do is I'll just end the video till I get to the part where I either left off where I died, or I die before that. And I only have one chance to do that, but for each level, I do have a mulligan. Except for Chaos. I know he's chatting there now, but we've heard this 500 times. The only time I'm not allowed to use a mulligan is the final battle with Chaos. I have one shot, one opportunity. Boy, Eminem told me that one. So, you gotta, you gotta respect that one. So yeah, so Eminem taught me to use one shot, one opportunity with hey, Chaos, yes, and that's it. I'm not playing as any other characters besides for the original Guild really Grunt that I got from my starter pack, aka the first Water Skylander I ever owned. Here. Ain't that rad? Rad Brad. But I'm excited to be doing a playthrough. Um, a lot of people might not know, I'm actually recording this on November the 14th, 2020, so this is back when I was taking my hiatus from YouTube, if you're watching this now. I've actually already recorded this entire series, and I've probably started Giants by now, or I might even have that one done, we'll see. So, what I'm going to ask for you guys for that future of Giants, or if I'm already recording Giants, maybe for Slot Force then, for those solo runs, because I am all doing six games in solo runs. And I'll also explain um, why I'm doing into solo runs instead of that, instead of the locks. But if you want, I will skip the talking. If you guys don't want to hear the talking and you've heard it a hundred times because you played this game so many times, just like myself, and you just want to skip through all the dialogue, we can easily do that. We'll do an episode. We'll do that where I skip everything that they say. Good thing you're here. My fingers are all messed up. I had a hangnail in the other episode, so I'm kind of glad that didn't um, didn't stick. So then I had to cut off my hangnail. You can move now. Thank you. So, why am I doing the solo run, you may be asking yourself. Well, if you didn't notice, for the last few locks I did, I was phoning it in. You, it was very obvious that I wasn't taking the game as seriously as I used to. I still will never take this game as seriously as anyone thinks they sh I should. Um, do you not know who I am? <laughs> seriously, not serious, guys. So, what I decided to do was take the games and just play through them casually. Do a solo run with the Skyland, I think is going to be it's going to be really fun to play as. But as a little bit of a challenge with the two, I might get cocky, you know me. But like my biggest thing is like I'm not a fan of Trap Team because I've never won a lock in it, and I want to go and play Trap Team casually, and still have fun with it, and still be able to make content for you guys because I don't want to have Trap Team just sitting in the background collecting dust because I don't want to play it anymore because I got upset with the locks. So that's why I'm going to be doing Solar Run on it, and Solar Run on this game. And after all the six games are done, I'll go back to locks, and we're going to do the Forgotten Lock. I know I'm supposed to do the Forgotten Lock. I'm sorry, I didn't forget. <laughs> but yes, this is the number one thing, is that I want to actually play the game and enjoy it, and get back into the flow of me actually wanting to play these games, instead of making it a hassle for me to have to sit down and record episodes. And I mean, your boy Portal Master, my good friend, he is uh, doing, he already was doing a playthrough. It's probably over by now, because I'm recording this on November 14th, remember? <laughs> the day you're watching this. Think about it. Um, he did a full playthrough of this game, too, and it's just one of the things where you get to go back and see the game and play it. And you don't have to take it seriously. If I lose, I lose. Whatever, I'll just go. You'll get an episode early. You'll get to see Giants next episode next. And these are particularly nice so the next one after this where he talks about those elemental gates, that's the whole line I'm going to skip because I don't want to hear that. Um, we skipped the intro, by the way, because we've seen the intro a hundred times, and when I was loading up the game, hilariously, fun fact, I deleted my 100% save file. So, what it, for, with, since I'm playing on PS3, PS5 is out now, and I still, I don't have one, <laughs> by the time I upload this, I definitely won't have one, <laughs> But the big thing is I'm playing on PS3, and to delete the save file, you have to actually go into the save area, like where your saved, like save data is. And I seen the first one because I thought it was the one that was 0%, you know? We're going to use water on him. Um, so I, I use the, I clicked the top one because I thought that was the one that was like the one that had 0%, because there was one that had 0%. But no, I deleted my 100% save file. So I now have technically not 100%ed this game. So yeah, enjoy that. <laughs> 
We're gonna skip him him talking about this now. But yeah, so I've deleted my 100% game. This is not a 100% playthrough. I'm not gonna go out of my way and collect everything. I'm just gonna get from one end to the end, other end of the level. That's it. Just like the original Dragon Lock, just beating the level as fast as I can because I don't want to hinder myself and have Gilgrunt stuck, you know? You must save them. So the big thing, if you think about it, if you watch the original Dragon Life spoilers, if you haven't, I was very, very far in when I um, when I lost my first Skylander. So think about that. So I got a feeling I'm going to have Gilgrunt for a very long time. Hopefully going to get right to the end with him. I absolutely love his uh, water jump ability. As you can see where you use the jetpack. There we go. Speed run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we beat the level already. Easy. Peasy, lemon, squeezy, I should eat some pudding, freeze, pudding freezies. Jello pudding pops. <laughs> it's kind of dark in here today. Unfortunately, it is a very gloomy day. I can turn you this on and make it a little bit brighter. Thanks well, this you, works. That's actually pretty nice. To just in time. It's, uh, it's snowing outside and rainy and gross, so. This is only the beginning. Yep. There are reports of terrible disasters all throughout Skylands. And Gil Grunt is going to do it all by himself. He's going to fix it all, one, baby. We don't get moving. That tornado is right on top of us. That's fine. Oh, right. We should get to safety. I'll explain everything on the way. Okay, we get it. We can go on there now. My desk is a state. I actually mentioned that in the last video, and I completely forgot to mention it again, but my desk is a state. I have a Shopkins... I think it's a Shopkins, like a plushy thing that, like, squishes out. Why do I have this on my desk? I haven't used this in forever, right? So, like, it's very untidy. I have, future, I have a future video here, as I've shown in the clip. For as long as anyone could I have Pokemon cards. By the wisest I have Monopoly pieces. Of all, the portal masters. Oh the yeah. Greatest among them was Master Eon. I haven't seen Eon this cutscene in forever, so I'm gonna watch this one purposely. For centuries, the Gilgrunt isn't in that. Isn't in that. Isn't with those two because he's not defending Skylands right now. Because it's just him. The ultimate force behind all evil. I remember the first time I seen Strial, I was just like, what did they do to my boy? And now looking at him, I was like, what haven't they done with my boy? knew it was only a matter of time before the darkness would return. Master Eon! There he is. those clouds! Is something wrong? So we flew through the first episode. That's the plan. So what it is, is once we get to the ruin and I'm just stopped there and I get to go continue some next level, that's when we're going to stop the episode. So yeah, that's the, that's the plan. Skylanders, the darkness has come. Prepare for battle! Behold! It is oh. I, Chaos! Chaos! Fear my giant floating evil head. What video game has a, a character Chaos in it, if I'm not mistaken? It looks ridiculous. My head is off! Here, here it is. My giant floating head. That seemed creepy, right? I had there was red. You're spoiling my evil mood. You thought you had banished me to the outer. That was actually really creepy with all that red. I actually looked kind of terrifying in my opinion where I just went, Feel my giant floating head. You guys know me, I'm the most terrifying person in the world. <laughs> I'm just going to put this controller down, actually. There's no point for me to hold this right now, because it's just going to be a lot of talking for a little bit. Storyline building! So I'm going to record a bunch of these episodes in one bulk sitting, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to do, like, maybe four or five, depending on how I feel. I think I'm going to go till about 3.30 my time, so I still have another hour. So I think I'm going to record, like, two or three more episodes. Hey, there's Gil! Um, I'm going to have about two or three more episodes probably be able to pump out here, and then I'll be able to record some more in the future and all that. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Look at them go. Knock them all down. But yeah, I do bulk recording. If you guys did not know, I actually sit down and look at them go. It, that's You can't do that move. Oh, I'm burping a lot. All of a sudden, that's a Mountain Dew before I recorded. Oh yeah, get that XP tariff and you're totally not leveled up to level 10. <laughs> but yeah, so um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna be bulk recording like I always do. Look at Stump Smash go. I was actually, so there was three Skylanders I was considering to do the solo run with. Four, actually. Stump Smash was one of them. I was gonna say, I'm like, what if I can actually do the Stump Smash? Trigger Happy was not one I was considering with because I have beaten the game with Trigger Happy before and I didn't want to do that again. I was also considering Spyro because I'm a big fan of Spyro. And I also considered Voodoo. I was like, you know, Voodoo would be a pretty fun one. So, right now I'm gonna go with a ranged Skylander. I think, uh, I think uh, Gil Grunt will be a good one to start off with. And then if it, um, I don't understand how Chaos gets any points in general. Like, he never killed any, any of the Skylanders, did he? Was there 36 Skylanders originally? <laughs> but yeah, so I was like, I decided to go with Gil Grunt because I think a ranged fighter I can do really well with. And then if I decide to do another solo run in the future, I'll do something like uh, Voodoo or Stump Smash or even Slam Bam. Something like that to do a little more of a full holler or a close-up fighter. Um, also might do characters that might be a little bit harder to play as, like Sunburn I think will be a really, really fun uh, solo run overall. Like, er, like, imagine if I had a uh, episode with Sprocket, a solo run of just Sprocket. So yeah. We've seen this hundred times, that's why I'm talking right now, just telling you guys what I'm, that's on my mind. <laughs> there's more to their story and we're gonna, oh. Drawn farther and farther away from the magic of Alright, Skyler, just subscriber shout out of the day. <laughs> We're not doing this, but we had a latest video from. Oh, Two Woo Me! Actually, that's great! Two Woo Me says, Hey, Crash, thanks for the shout out. I felt the same thing before. I take regular races to visit my family and I don't upload them. I'm glad you're focusing on your mental health. You can have awesome content when you come back. Best wishes. Two Woo Me! Shout out to Two Woo Me! There you go. I gave her a shout out in um, my video where I'm like, if you go watch some Skylander content, and Tuwumi is fantastic. She is uh, one of the only female Skylander YouTubers out there, and I 100% respect that because we need female powers in there because there is girls playing these games, you know? So, like, it's her and Crystal Blaze are holding it down, basically. There are a couple other ones that are on their way and building up to it, but those are the two biggest ones for sure. Tuwumi is actually up there with me in subscriber count, and I love that. I love the fact that she's one of the most popular SkyTubers out there. And she deserves way more respect. So, after this video is done, if you're not going to watch the rest of the series, if you haven't already, go watch Tuwumi. Tuwumi. I keep saying her name wrong. I'm very sorry. It's Tuwumi. You, you just search it up. Kelly. She might comment on this video. Uh, Kelly. <laughs> well, I've heard some things about that gal. Interesting. Things. I don't like Kelly. If she's involved in this, count me Maggie? double. Oh, I love my doggie. She's Blended. a seat. When you're ready, I bring her bed into the uh, into the office with me when I bulk record it and just leave it there, and then she just cuddles up and does that. And if you bring back any more of those those sheep, <laughs> I'll never forgive you. I don't want you to forgive me anyways. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the debut episode of the Solo Run. I hope you are excited for this series as much as I am for bringing it back. I'm so excited to do a playthrough where I feel like I'm going to enjoy it overall. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed, let me know. Leave a like and a comment below. So come back next Friday for another episode of the Solo Run. And see if me and Gil can make it all the way to the end. But as always, I bid you farewell.